truth. I gotta hit a note too. But I can't live without him. That is why I live in so. Cause he's so real to me. Jesus is real, yeah, real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, oh yeah. He gave me the victory. So many people die. Him, but I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. Yeah, come on out of the eye. Ooh, I get a bad note about the screw in my foot. But I got a new foot coming in glory. Cause who's real? Jesus is real. He's real to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who gave you the victory? He gave me the victory. next two days. Oh, he's real. So can I put that in the blank? Yes, he's real to me. Hey, God glory. I can't sing. Y'all know the words. Sing it. If you sing loud enough, you'll sing over me and my praise won't bother you. I feel like some people are uncomfortable around me because my praise is outside of their comfort zone. And you just start praising God outside of your own comfort zone. Y'all hear me? Because I'm going to keep saying he's real, real, God. Hey. Oh, God, I'm going to keep that high. Oh, God, I'm going to keep that high. Oh, God, I'm going to keep that Jesus, He's a real to me, you know. Oh, yes. Not, oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Every time you see a situation, come on. Oh, no. I don't know what I would do. Oh, no. I can think about it. I stress about it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What y'all know for? I wanted to say it, but I didn't say it though. Don't be the enemy's patsy. Do, 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 right? Stop throwing your the people of God under the bus. Do, 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 right? Stop lying on people. Do, 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 do. Stop cheating on people. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Stop hurting the people of God. Do, 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 right? I got a message this morning. Someone said, oh, someone feels really bad and they feel really alone. So I said, hold on for a second. And I went to pray. Because I will not be. I said, number one, my pastors are involved. I'm not saying anything about the situation. I'm not going to say anything that could be taken back to that person and hurt them. And I'm not saying anything that could be taken anywhere else to hurt them. I said, this was going on with these things. But as for that, I'm praying. And I hope all is well. That's it. Do, 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 do. If you feel alone, it's not my fault. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I started to tell, tell her to take that to the pastor. But don't bring that to me. Because it was directed at me. She wants to know why you ran away and why you went not sit with us. Do, 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 do. I saw, them, I saw all I want to talk to you. Oh and I saw her there, I was like, whoa, oh, and turned around and went the other way. Oh Plus, I didn't have a fork, a knife, or a stool, oh or a drink. Oh Every time I go to some, like when we have picnics, we do things as a church or as a people, as a, as a nation, I always forget my spoon, my fork, and my napkin. Always. And my drink. Always forget it. Always. Conflict with somebody, how no matter how big or how small, love them. So I said, I said, I love that person, and I said, I'm praying for them. Then they said that they want to know why you left the table, this, that, and the other. And I said, I'm praying. And I said, I hope all is well. I 
don't feel alone. If you feel alone, it's because of the fact that your spirit is drained <laughs> because you just did an evil thing and you know it. But I don't feel alone. At the end of the day, I'm not Patsy. At the end of the day, right? Let's not talk about that person, right? It's about there's, 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 there's a world. It's like there's a world inside of the church full of people. And so the church themselves have moved into the world and started to act like the world. Has the church started to act like the world and look like the world to try to, to try to bring the world in? But what's happening is the world is bringing them out. The other half of the church, the world has infiltrated. I'm trying to stay underneath my pastor. That is it. And his wife. I don't want to know nobody else. I talk to them and I tell them the honest truth. And I don't complain. But besides that, I tell them the honest truth. I don't, I'm not, I don't. She was asking why you're not, no. That's the beginning. And it's not that the person is bad that did that. But that's the beginning. A gossip. Take your lips from, from, from the glass. Stop taking sips from the cup of gossip. Gossip. You sip it from the cup of gossip. Come on, this situation is serious. You know we're supposed to be um, talking and, and, and going back and forth like that. Having no exchange. I'm not having no exchange unless my pastor says it's okay. If he says okay, then I don't mind. And I still don't want to have no exchange, but... You know why it's this way. I knew why I was this way. I had to tell them I could not tell them where I was going. You know why I can't tell you where I'm going. My gift. Is my gift God? Because I don't feel alone. He said, no, leave me, no, forsake me. I don't feel alone. Hello. I will be with you all week, even until the end of the world. Jesus said, do, 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 do. Jesus said, he'll speak it in my ear. When he tells you that you're alone, speak against it. Tell you that you're alone, speak against it. But we all have the opportunity to learn how to speak against the enemy when he comes and tells us things like we're alone. And when we work against that, then we end up without that opportunity. Done. And I go to Miss Carol and I tell her, like, listen, tell me how to be a firefighter or, or chaplain. And then she starts telling me and I spit in her face and smack her. Oh God, I can't see that happening. She's my bulldog. dog. But if I spit in her face and smack her and I walk away, Chances are I'm not going to learn what a firefighter chaplain does. Chances are. Because you spit in the person's face and smack them. You had the opportunity to learn how to speak back to the enemy. But your words were used to break things up. Your words used to sabotage. Ugh, I can't, I can't, I hate that word, sabotage. Your words were used to sabotage things. That's Jamie all day. My words break things up. <laughs> Y'all thought I was going somewhere else? No. I'm focused on Jamie. It's not a prideful thing, right? I'm praying for that person, but I can't be all up in what they're doing. That's none of my business. I'm, I'm, I'm not busy about their nets. I, all I can say is that I'm praying and that I love them. That's what I said to respond. I was going to text, I was going to call, uh, call my pastor and say, how do I respond to this? Because I want him and I want him to understand and know everything. Because she's sending messages to other people. That's a do 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 do. Do you have a minor key? That's a do 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 do. No, I'm not getting no more trouble. I'm not getting. I told Miss. I told Miss Andrea. I said I'm done with getting in trouble. I'm done with trouble. I'm not getting no more trouble. No more. I'm tired of it. I'm done. I stay underneath my pastor and Miss Andrea. That's it. 
you want to take it first time, if you have something to say to me, why did you, why did you go through her? You know she is very soft and very um uh, and t very timid. Why would you go through her? You go through him. You went to him. Go through him. You want to tell him to tell me why you know why I sit down with you to tell him that. Your feelings, tell him. You operating in your feelings. Walk in the spirit, so you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You walk it in the soul as well. That's why you feel alone. You feel bad because you 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 are you. You are feeling alone because you put people away from you. We all feel certain ways. Especially when we mess up. I mess up all the time. But that's really demonic because then go to him and then start sending messages to other people. That's demonic. If you went to him, then stick with the way that he's doing it. He's going about it in a certain method. Do I like it? It hurts. I will say that. But he's doing it a certain way. It hurts, but I trust him. And I trust what he's doing. I'm going to do it his way. I'm not messing up again. The beauty in this thing is Jesus told them. He said, he said Then you know I'll be about my father's business. <laughs> then you know I'll be about my father's business. Then you know I'll be about my father's business. Business. Ha <laughs> oh ha. Then you know. He said, Mary, did you know? He said, did you? Then y'all know. We told Joseph and Mary. Then you know I'll be about my father's business. He said, Mary, did you know? There was no Mary. There was all both of y'all. Then you know. At the end of the day, we have to uh, we have to get back to where we were. If I'm a praiser and I'm a praiser worshiper, I need to have my tail inside the household of faith. So when the uh, praise team is up there, I'm praising God with them. It was so hard yesterday. I was crying the entire day. Why? That's between me, my pastor, and his wife. However, my job was still to go. If God said, God didn't say, I'll take a day off. God asked about, as a matter of fact, said, God didn't make an example of me. He said to be an example. That's what the Spirit said on Thursday. Be an example. While they're praying, pray. They're praying on the prayer call, I pray at home. While they're praying, pray. Be an, if they make a example, how do you be an example? Show them that you're learning and your lesson. Don't do, 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 do the whole thing up. If they put pressure on you, then, then accept the pressure. It's hard. I was crying the entire day. And every time my pastor said community while he preached, I teared up, but I started crying again. But does that mean I don't accept? I don't accept what's what, what, the, 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 the lesson? No, the lesson is a blessing. I hope. I learned something from it. At the end of the day, I, I learned one thing. I, I will not. I've, I've been dishonest before. I will not be dishonest and then go and tell one person one thing and tell another person another thing and then travel back and forth to the church like that. You can use her to do it, at, do it to come to me, but the buck stops at me. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Because as I sat down and thought about it, I said I have a very minimal time with my pastor. Do I want to go and tell him? Use that time to tell him something like this. Absolutely not. Because no matter how you frame it, you are spreading gossip. When you, when you, if they, even, if, even if you're telling them and you need to tell them, you're supposed to tell them. If you are, even if you spread it with the right heart in the right manner, you are still spreading gossip. It is still gossip. If I tell you that somebody said something about me in this manner or tried to do this after they knew they weren't supposed to do it, she knows she's not supposed to be communicating with me and she knows she's not supposed to be going around telling a whole bunch of people about it, but she's still doing it. Am I going to share that with my pastor or share it with any of my pastors? No. Faith does not hear it and hear about the word of God. I want to tell them the word of God. I want to put the word of God in their ears. Because inside of their belly, I want out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth to speak. I want the, what to come out of them is what I put into them. Anything I tell them is going to be a worth gold. It's going to be worth a uh, lay for yourself treasures in heaven. I ain't telling Pastor Diggins and I'm not telling Pastor David. Two Pastor Davids, yeah. But I'm not telling, I ain't telling Pastor David Lewis either. <laughs> I just throw him in because his name is David. 
told Pastor Digi, I think they tried to take over the world <laughs> and just spread David. So I said, I'm telling Pastor Tim and Pastor Trent to watch their back. Because <laughs> I think they tried to take over the David, you know. They write a book for David, you know. Have fun with it, even when, you, even when you're on punishment. Have fun, you know. Even though it's hard, just can't have fun, not that much, but his heart still hurt, but I said that was a perfect opportunity for me not to do. As soon as I walked over there, I was like, oh, Holy Spirit said, turn back around. Choose bring gossip and try to and try to push things. And try to make things happen. You made this mess. Now live in it. Just like I gotta live in your mess, you gotta live in it too. But I'm coming out blessed. I don't know how you coming out. At the end of the day, Grandma always said, you dig one ditch, you better dig two, because the ditch you dig just might be for you. And I'm not getting those ditches. I'm Jamie. Because the blind, I leave the blind, they fall into a ditch. I'm Jamie. I don't do that. I don't ditch. Ditches are dirty. They throw dirt. I'm not ditching. I make it some clothes and be stitching. I may sing sometimes and be ditching. I may be ditching. But I don't be ditching. I don't do that. I don't get in the ditches. You build the ditches. And the thing is, when you build a ditch, you got to get inside of the ditch to build it. This has nothing to do with that person. But remember this. When you build a ditch, y'all, when you build a ditch, you, you got to get inside of it. You always, everybody that builds a grave, they got to get into it. I'm not talking about they build a casket. You wouldn't have to get a casket to, uh, to build it. You know the body is a certain certain thing, whatever. That's certain PSI. After you let out all the uh, guts and everything like that, and they bring the more set or whatever, then they got a certain PS off of the body, right? A certain pressure or whatever. You know that they ain't build it like that because you let everything out, basically. So you have to get in the casket to build one. Plus, caskets look really comfortable. Now, I have not tested one, nor have I asked anybody about it. I mean, my grandma looks very comfortable. She looks very comfortable. I thought, like, okay, that's a good one. She has pillows. That's nice. You know, that's nice. But... No. Ditches? No. In order to build a ditch, if you're a grave robber or a grave uh, a digger, you gotta get in it. Get in it. You gotta get in it. Hey, but you expect my pastor to get in it with you. I pray. So I know. He, he got everything, he, everything he needs to know, he's gonna find out. I don't tell him people. That's what I told Pastor Tim. I was like, remember that thing that happened with that, with that other pastor, Chris? He said, yep. He was like, you didn't say nothing. And you didn't say, we gave you that letter, you ain't say nothing. You ain't say nothing about it. They tell on him at all. I, you just took the letter. I was like, I know. That's what I do. It's wrong. I know it's wrong. But I, I, I'm just not. I'm not a gossiper. I'm gossiping about Jesus, though. Remember what y'all said? <laughs> then y'all know I'm being on my father's business. Remember y'all said that? You know, I'd be a good wife. The husband would be, we'll be able to trust me. Because I, I don't, I don't say everything. I don't say words. I don't say a lot of words. I say a lot of words here. But I'm saying words about everything that go on. Like, if, if you my friend, I'm not telling anybody about everything that we go through. Because, uh, mm, David Lewis and I were friends for a long time. But, and David, we, we were friends. I wasn't going to tell his cousin everything we did. He, she knew some stuff. I didn't tell him nothing. I told him nothing. She's his cousin. He can tell her whatever he wants. But I'm trustworthy. I want to be a trustworthy wife to whoever takes me, so I'm practicing. And I watch Miss Andrea. As much as I've talked to Miss Andrea, she has never told me anything. Thank you, Jesus! Because I don't want to know. I don't. I love him, and I see him a certain way. Do you realize the reason why I said gossip? The moment you say something about what somebody does, the moment you share their name, that that person starts to look different. I told Pastor Tim, I said, the reason why I got so upset it's because I was sitting there, I'm a girl, and I'll, I'll tell you, I watch colors, I watch people. And I'm sitting with Kristen Kraft, and I was talking to her. And Pastor Tim was moving stuff, and my foot was still messed up. I was like, Pastor Tim, do you want me to help you? He said, no, I need you to sit down right there. So I, I sat down, he had, a, he had a jacket, a black t-shirt thing, and black pants, and um, black church shoes. So we took off his church jacket, all I saw was the black, black, black. And I looked at him, and I said, why does he look different, Holy Spirit? He said, because people have to put things in your ears about him. It changed the way he looked to me. I don't want to change the way anybody looks to anybody. So 
it's hard for me to say. Even when that person does something wrong to me or they do something wrong, I know it's not my fault. It's hard for me to say that person. Because I need them to look, they're struggling, and I need them to look kind of at least a little bit of decency. And they've done things to me that hurt me. That pastor, the last pastor, Pastor Tim saw him in the sanctuary. Take my keys from me and I'm on a walker. And usually I'm supposed to use a walker when the Bible gets that bad. So I'm on a walker and I could not move. My body was locked up completely. He took my keys from me and started throwing it over my head to his wife. And they were playing monkey with my keys. And I was so scared that they were going to kill me. The way they were pushing me and throwing me around, I was so scared they were going to kill me. I said, I'm going to die in church. And nobody else was in the sanctuary. They came into the sanctuary. I thought they came in to say hi. But they didn't. They came in to hurt me. Some people come to, to come to hurt you. They'll come to do things to do, do things to your name. And when I put that demon to rest, I said, stop it. It didn't like the way I did it. Sometimes you gotta do that. Put it to rest. Because what happened was they Bob was arrested. If you don't put it to rest, you will end up arrested. They Bob was arrested, and what did they do then? Oh God, where did this come from? They Bob was arrested, and what did they do to Nabal? They took him, right? And what the Jezebel put her, she had that stamp. We told you. He said, blah, 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 blah. It's a, a weak man will give his ring to a stronger woman. Jezebel is very strong and she's very intelligent. Terrible, evil woman. That does not make her a good woman. Ahab was a weak man and very unintelligent. That makes him a terrible man, right? So it's very easy for Jezebel, who was Egyptian, right? Like she married an Egyptian. She was sort of like an offspring of an Egyptian. He married an Egyptian, offspring of an Egyptian king. She, he married an Egyptian woman, an Egyptian princess. And he gave her his ring. Any smart man is, is going to hold on to his ring. He's not going to give you his ring when he don't trust you. And my thing is, if you, if you don't trust me, you know me, you don't trust me, I don't want your ring. Someone else will give me a ring. You don't have to worry about that. I don't want your ring. Because you should definitely be able to trust the person you give your ring to. You know, you play checkers and stuff. You jump on people's men and you say, King me. That king wants to be able to ring you. And that means when he calls, when he rings the phone, when he calls, you answer. When he wants to go out and hang out, you're there. When he needs to talk, you are here. You're there for him. You're connected to him, right? And being submitted to him, you're there for him. You are his rib. So when he feels like he's going to tip over and fall, oops, the rib props him up. I feel like Adam, and Adam, since the rib was taken from him, Adam was uneven. Why? Because Eve became, started walking in her own flesh. Eve started talking to the serpent. She let him in. Started talking to him. Right? Ate the apple. And then she turned around and said, here, you can have a clue. So Adam fell. He tipped over and fell into sin. He fell. Why? He tipped over because his rib wasn't there. Just because the rib is taken from Adam doesn't mean the rib shouldn't be put back. As a, as a, as a queen, you are his rib and you are put back. You should be put back. So that way he'll stand up straight. Because he can lean on you. If he doesn't trust you, he is not gonna, he's not going to make that move. He's not going to pursue. He's not going to make that move because he just doesn't trust you. He doesn't know what, he doesn't know what you're going to do day to day. And my intention is at the end of the day, I want to be a woman of integrity. Operate in integrity. And if I fall out, if I fall off of it, if I make a mistake, then I want to be able to tell you, okay, this is why I did that. I made a mistake and I'm sorry and I want to do better next time. But this is why, that I want you to understand that this is why I did that. But now I understand that it was an error. Being submitted means being a, a rib. I was a rib to a rib fall the line. Is it Rip C? No! No man that comes to church with his shirt open, glaring, bam, I'm, I'm here, bam, showing what's underneath his shirt. 
The rib is closed into the clothes of a man and protected from the elements. It's protected from the storm. It's protected from the rain. I don't know why God is doing this. Where I'm going with this? But it's protected from the storm. It's protected from the rain, right? When, you, when a man buttons up his shirt, he his rib is protected. His ribs are protected. He protects his ribs. Why? Woo! God, why does he protect his ribs? Because his ribs protect his lungs. Do you think he, 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 he lowered lower over you? No, he's trying to protect you, get you into his, into his shirt and hit it. He wants to hadassah you, right? Because you was rib. So when you buttons up his shirt, right? You will be protected from the elements. If you are protected from the elements, then so are his lungs. If his lungs are not protected, he can get COVID. <laughs> You end up with the wrong ID on his head. You end up with cold bed uncovered. Hey God, Mustafa uncovered. You become uncovered, right? When the rib starts doing too much, it starts talking too much, it starts trying to be out in the open. He will have rib uncovered. God, go red. You're supposed to be covered, right? While he's leaning on you, you are supposed to be covered underneath the shirt. From that way, you are protected from the elements. So when you're protected from the elements, uh, the winds and the waves and the storms don't get to you. You will not end up with a bronchitis and pneumonia and COVID, right? Because COVID will cause you to end up with a, a, a rocked up lung. COVID shut down your lungs. That's why it was invented. It was meant to shut down your lungs. Because things can be uh, replaced. But the moment COVID hits your one lung, it's in line to the other. And if you don't make a turn going the other way, you will shut. Thou shalt surely die. If the rib doesn't shut up, the rib will cause you to surely die. Because when the rib Start getting up and trying to dance and trying to be in front of everybody. It will end up talking to the, the Satan, the, the Lucifer, the, uh, the, the 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 green thing, the gecko geico. Uh, that, uh, I will save you 50 percent on car insurance. It'll end up trying to save you 50 percent on car insurance, right? Talking to, talking to the geico gecko, and then you over there with minus a rib, tipping over, and wait, there's a slot open. There's a slot open for every uh uh. uh. Let's say Gomer. There's a slot open for every Gomer to enter into. There's a slot open once the rib leaves and starts talking. See, what happened was uh, Eve got up and then she started talking to the, the lizards. Right? She opened the door for him and she started talking to the lizards. What that showed me is spiritually, while um, um, Adam was trying to walk around the garden, Eve jumped up, popped out of his body, and went to go meet the lizard. When he, when she did that, he started to fall over. He became weak. He started to fall over. He became weak. Right? And here's the thing. I'm not saying that's why he took that. Apple, that's why he took the fruit, but I believe that's why he stood back while they were talking. I, I'm telling you, I watch certain people. I watch Pastor David and Miss Andrea. I love when I, I love to see them together because I love to see how they play off of each other. Don't get it twisted. He will never let her talk to anybody that he don't want to talk to. He'll move away from them. I've seen it happen. Hallelujah! To move away from her. It's not that they say they don't want to talk to him. He protects her. So when, they, when she said next to me, he keeps her close to him. She never, I see her walk all around the church. It's not that he's keeping her, like pulling her in. But when the rib comes close, he, he keeps her close to him. And it's beautiful because they play off of each other. It's wonderful. Hallelujah! Keep me close. Yes, God, keep me close. And I'm not, I'm not saying this is nothing about their marriage. I don't know about their marriage. I'm not going to say anything about their marriage. What I am saying is I've seen him keep her close. And so it was a picture of me, him, and her. And I'm in the picture. I'm in the middle of the picture. I'm in the picture. And all I can think of when I saw the picture is how do I cut myself out of it? Mentally, I kept saying, how do I cut myself out of it? Because I said, this does not belong. I love them. I love their faces. I love their poses. I was like, they're perfect for each other. I said, but I, 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 this picture looks, I would love looking at this picture all the time if I could get myself out of it. So I cut myself out of it, and it's beautiful. The most beautiful picture. Because she was in line, right? She's a rib. And the beauty of it is when you are a rib, right? You you you, you come in and you're submissive, but then they wrap their arms around you and they protect you. I see it, right? What, mainly because I think I want to see it. They may not even know I was watching. 